everybody. Hope you're having a nice day. And welcome back to Kids Fun Every Day. Please subscribe. And today we're going to be checking out some of the new Jurassic World Dominion toys. All of them. And let's start by the very top. But first, let's check a special dinosaur called this one right now. And this is called a Isungapitaris. And now we can see it. It's a really good looking pterosaur. The packaging, we can't really see it well because the head's really facing down. But as you can examine, its exhibit looks cool and everything it's roaring and really cool look too bad you can't do it from the previous dinosaurs but anyways let's go back first we're gonna check out from the very top and um, it's called extreme damage velociraptor blue so it's this owen and velociraptor blue and extreme damage so it's like as you've seen there's a button on it, and you press down on the button, and see that blood right there? It could either transform from skin and blood. And you know the extreme damage of the Lost Raptor Blue is one of them that has that same feature. This one is the same, and it has a cool new looking paint color called the Extreme Damage Colorus. And this one seems to be really cool. And the packaging of Extreme Damage Dinosaurs looks so cool. I, I don't even want to unbox them, but the fun part is the toy. So we will have to unbox them. But the packaging still looks crazy good. And the other thing is that you can see some damage marks there. And again, it has the same action feature. There's a button. Now, you may be asking... How about the Dimetrodon? It has a giant sail thing on itself. Well, actually, I have an answer for that. There is a button on the sail. So, so you can see a piece of the sail right there. You know that very middle piece right there? The very last piece when you pull it out is the DNA tag. Well, the one after that, if you push down on it, that's going to make it have extreme damage. Now, this extreme damage Velociraptor is looking cool also, and instead it actually new form, and the thing about the extreme damage Velociraptor is, it looks, in its paint color is just so cool. The packaging, the paint color, how else could you think of it? It just looks so cool, and that Dominion T-Rex just makes it look awesome. Next up, we have everybody's favorite, not for real, but the Mosasaurus, a really nice dinosaur in the two Jurassic World movies, having a return in the final Jurassic World film. It was never in Jurassic Park, sadly. I don't think it actually was in Jurassic Park at all, but... You could still know it's called the Ocean Protector. Why does it have that name? Maybe because it was made about 40% recycled plastic, if I got that right. But yeah, that's really cool that they use that. It has, it looks kind of like the Cacretaceous one, you know? But I can't tell a difference. It's look the same. Like, that looks strange, but... Next up, we have Velociraptor. Well, not just anyone, but from the original Jurassic Park film, The Kitchen Encounter Pack, which is a really cool one. The packaging, ooh, it looks so cool. This, they even have a cardboard flab, you know that flab right there? The raptor stands on top of it, the two people are there. From the movie, one of them's holding a frying pan. They're kids. The other people from the original Jurassic Park did actually return in Dominion, but they have older versions like Alan Grant, Ellie Sadler, and even I am Malcolm, of course, who was in Fallen Kingdom. 
did include in the Dominion film. Next up, we have this thing, but the Pachycephalosaurus, the one specifically from the Lost World, because it's in the Legacy Collection. Now, of course, Legacy Collection were from the past Jurassic World movies, and this one's looking really cool. And it looks really realistic. It looks exactly like from that film. And it toy version looks so cool. Now, the pink color and it has a normal feature that you might be thinking of, like um, you know that feature where you push down on the tail and its head pops in? That same feature and when you release the tail its head pops out. Now we have a Cosmoceratops, but it's this legacy clip. And you never ever saw it in any of the movies. And you might be thinking, oh, is it going to be in the green film? Well, the answer is sadly. But why did they do that toy? For the legacy collection, well, I would say this that, um,. Oh, I think they still included it. Now, Velociraptor, we have another one, but it was that twist and twirl feature where you put down on it and it twirls its, like, um, from part of it. Kind of like the T Rex divided, but different. Now we have the Dilophosaurus, a really cool looking one. Maybe it was one of the funniest scenes in the original Jurassic Park. But it returns in Jurassic World Dominion and with the coolest look it could show. It, well, it actually is nothing new. The same mold, but a cool and new looking paint color. The paint color is totally awesome. And it seems like it includes Claire and a piece of Venom, you know. It seems like they have a walkie-talkie radio and a gun thing. Of course, it has a DNA tag also. You can obviously. Now, we have a Velociraptor Blue. But instead, it's just a regular one. Nothing fancy about it. No, um, no actually, um, it has no new accessories like the Jurassic World Extreme Damage. But it still looks really, really cool of course a dna tag because they're here now we get a moragia a really well weird i wouldn't say cool or not cool but it looks like just a weird looking one also it, i can't understand which one that is what family is it between a kentrosaurus a stegosaurus and maybe a platyosaurus that's a weird one, but let's just move on. Now, I think this one is even weirder because that one is a dino, but this one is a dino also. Oh, it's way bigger than any of our previous Allosaurus we ever had. But there's one thing I spotted about the toy and the image. It has a blue tongue. Yeah. Well, I don't think... They actually have a blue tongue in real life. But I think it's just a new cool look in the toy. But anyways, that creature, Allosaurus, looks so cool and realistic still. But maybe not that much. And the extreme damage is where you, um, well, I'd say you pull down the hitch and it has squishy organisms in there. But now we have two of them that include vehicles, and one of them even have their own game. You can see games from the Capture and Crush truck. Also includes a Velociraptor. Really cool, you can even scan the truck. Also, the Velociraptor does have a DNA tag, and the truck, well, doesn't have a DNA tag, but you can still scan it with, you can place your phone in the truck and tilt it left to right. If you want to control it. Now we have an Isla Sandra capture pack. I think they will be on that island. In the new movie Dominion. And you know there is a Parasaurolophus. Even in the origin. I mean. 
on the, the trailer. It's the very first dinosaur that shows up on Snowy Village. And that guy, <laughs> he show up with that Parasaurolophus also. Next is a Desungaripterus. And it's looking yellowish a little bit. We don't really get to see much of it, but it does have a DNA tag somewhere. You get to see it, and it's looking still cool. The packaging is from that or the prologue, you know, the helicopter chasing the T-Rex. Next, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So we have two of them, but I'm really excited for the other one we're reviewing. Not the first one I'm going to be talking about, but anyways... Tyrannosaurus Rex it is. Now this is called the Thrash and Devour. Thrash and Devour Tyrannosaurus Rex. It looks so cool. And it might look like, you know, the, the T-Rex from Camp Cretaceous Dinoscape. But it has a difference. A big difference in brown. Also, when you push down the tail, you move it. A good thrashing effect. I really, really like that effect. And next up, I have one that I really like. It's, I think, I guess it's a little bit smaller. You no, know, about the same size. But it looks cooler just because of the pink color and also the packaging. And T Rex in packaging. Well, that looks cool. I just say the packaging for our Extreme Damage Dinosaur looks great than the regular Dominion. But anyways, that still looks cool. And the T-Rex has a new paint color that looks awesome. You can see those brown like stripes. Next we have a Yankwanosaurus. A really good looking one I'm afford to going on. And this one is a greenish one with a head crust on it. And it looks really cool sound effect. So you, like, you know, you could turn it, tail it would move, and press on a button on the tail, which would make its mouth chomp. With a DNA tag, of course. You can see the new app has a different look to it, but we have a Quetzal Quadlis, a really, really one I really like for the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. It looks so cool in that whitish, grayish effect instead the head is like kind of black but anyways it looks really cool i think you have to extend this thing it's do attack double attack anyways it's double action maybe so there's two ways i think i guess it would flap the wings and the other would get the mouth and the mouth would snap down and the other thing is there's a hitch on the first button when you pull it up you pull out the dna tag we're at the very few left ones left. I think five of them are left. And now we have a Scorpivinator. A really cool looking one. As sound, it just looks good. It looks like a hybrid with Scorpius Rex, but no. There's no hybrids. There's no hybrids in the new movie Jurassic World Dominion. So I wouldn't say there's like a new Jurassic World Dominion in the Raptor toy. Now that has a kind of cool looking scene there, but still, let's move on. It's from the Roar Strikers, I would say. Next we have the Ankylosaurus. I'd say for all of these Roar Strikers, you would push down on them. Their mouths would open or they would roar. And you can see the Anglosaurus has a DNA tag on its shell. So, it's pretty much a cool Anglosaurus. It looks kind of like Bumpy and some previous Anglosaurus, but it looks like a new look. Now, one I really am excited for also is Moros Intrepidus. Another one looking like it's a small 
by Pedal Tyrannosaur. You might have seen in the prologue, you know, that one taking away the Gigantosaurus teeth like a dino dentist, maybe. And it's, it's a cool looking toy, and I'm looking ahead for it also, with a DNA tag. Rogersaurus, ooh, cool one also. Now, Rogersaurus is one that you may be looking for that looks so cool with that, like, headpiece right there. Well, Rogersaurus looks so cool, and it looks like kind of like, um, you know, that it looks like a... T it kind of looks like the, that Scorpionator we just saw up there. But I saw a big difference in the pink color. Still looks really cool. But I don't know why that bluish stripe up there on the top doesn't continue. And last but not least, we have Triceratops. Ever since from the first original Jurassic Park, you may have noticed that from. And it's the same as War Strikers in a new color from this kind of um greenish brownish and that's all for today so hope you like all these new dinosaurs and looking ahead to buy them the release date is april 17th so have a good day and bye